What was intended to be a routine test turned into a series of unfortunate events, when the newly commissioned RBMK reactor near Leningrad exhibited unexpected behavior. The outcome was disastrous, occurring on November 30, 1975. Engineer Vitoly Boritz, who was undergoing training at the Leningrad nuclear power plant from Chernobyl, unintentionally became a witness to a grave accident, marking one of the most severe incidents in reactor history. Staying at the power plant after his shift, Boritz observed the reactor during a procedure involving gear switching, reactor shutdown, and transitioning between operational modes. It became apparent to him that something was amiss as the reactor, operating at low power, started emitting increasingly intense radiation. Even when the operator manually inserted additional control rods, a standard technique to reduce radiation, the reactor defied expectations. Unlike other reactors, where raising the number of control rods would diminish radiation levels, this RBMK reactor behaved contrarily. The reactor's unpredictability became evident, it was spiraling out of control. Drawing a metaphor for clarity, Boritz likened the situation to driving a car. He explained that it was as if one started driving at a normal pace, but the car suddenly began accelerating uncontrollably despite applying the brakes. This analogy illustrated the uncontrollable increase in radiation levels. The situation escalated dangerously as the nuclear reaction's intensity surged. The safety rod activation system intervened twice, temporarily halting the fission reaction and averting an explosion. However, the increased reaction's force led to the melting of a fuel channel, releasing uranium into the core. The reactor was eventually stopped and treated with nitrogen to mitigate the aftermath. Yet, approximately one and a half million curies of radioactive waste were released into the atmosphere through ventilation. To grasp the impact, one curie signifies radiation released by 37 billion atom fissions per second, and this magnitude can contaminate billions of liters of milk, rendering it unfit for consumption. Although the International Atomic Energy Agency deems a safe contamination level at 5 curies per square kilometer, the true consequences of the released curies remain unknown, especially in areas like Leningrad, located less than 80 kilometers away. Despite the RBMK reactor's potential for improvement, the extent of its malfunction and design flaws remain shrouded in mystery. The reactor's designers failed to make fundamental changes, merely issuing vague instructions for control rod design improvements without clarifying the rationale behind these adjustments. This crucial information void persisted even as it eventually made its way into recommendations for Chernobyl's fourth reactor. Regrettably, lessons from the Leningrad reactor accident were not heeded. The focus remained on energy production rather than reactor enhancement, leaving many valuable improvements untapped.